Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going through 10 things in Premiere Pro that you're probably doing wrong. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. I hope everybody's doing well. Today I'm going to go through 10 things in Premiere Pro that you're probably doing wrong. And why do I know that? Because I have done all those things wrong. So let me save you some time and let's get straight into it. If you've ever had a busy timeline like this and you want to select all these clips right here, instead of dragging and trying to select them, if you press A, that would select all the clips to the right of your arrow, or if you press Shift A, that would select all the clips to the left. So that might save you some time. If you've ever had a bunch of effects on a clip and you wanted to copy them onto another clip, instead of going up here and trying to copy paste all this stuff, all you have to do is Command C on that clip, select the next clip, and then right click, go up to paste attributes, and this will give you a selection of effects you can copy to any clip. If you want it to be faster, you can set a shortcut. My shortcut for this one would be Command Option V, and the menu is there. If you've ever wanted to apply an effect on multiple clips, instead of dragging the same effect on all these different clips, you can just select all the clips, double click on the effect, and that will apply the effect on all those selected clips. Easy. Next one's a color grading tip for you. If you've ever had a continuous clip like this and you get carried away chopping and doing your edit and suddenly you're like, oh, I need some color correction or some color grading on this one. Instead of adjusting the lumetri values of each clip, just come up here where the source is and then all the adjustments you make here are going to be applied to all the clips from that initial video. And you can tell these adjustments have been applied from this red line right here on each clip. Another way of doing this is just adding an adjustment layer, making all the adjustments you want on the adjustment layer, and then those changes will affect all the clips under that adjustment layer. Let's take a quick break and let me tell you about something that all editors should have. It's a bit of a cheat code really, and Vato Elements. I use them all the time, I've got the yearly subscription, and I find myself using them all the time for all kind of client projects. If you need motion graphics, graphics, templates of all sorts for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, anything you use, these guys have it. Stock video, if you ever wanted some sick drone shots from all over the world, instead of getting a drone and traveling all over the world, although that would be quite nice, you can just download the footage royalty free from Envato Elements. With this subscription, you can have unlimited downloads, royalty free, they've got almost 9 million assets, which is ridiculous. And if you follow the link below, you get your first month for $9. Incredible deal. Check it out, let's get back to it. Have you ever wanted to add a bit of motion blur to your movement? Let me show you how to do it. Instead of going into After Effects and opening in a whole new program, what you can do is say we've got this text right here, just add the transform tool, go into your effects control. I'm just gonna make some keyframes for position. So you've got this sweet movement here. To add a bit of blur, all you have to do is check this box right here and the larger the number is on the shutter angle, the more blur you get. Now say you want to adjust the audio gain of a specific clip. Instead of right clicking and then coming up to audio gain, all you have to do is press G and that gives you the same controls. This next one's gonna save you a bunch of time. Instead of using the razor tool to make all your edits, go up to your keyboard shortcuts and look for a command called add edit. You'll see that the default shortcut is Command K, but that doesn't really work for me because it takes my eyes off the screen and slows my editing. So I've changed that to E, you can change it to wherever you want, and that speeds up my process so much because I just cut a playhead. Now if you wanted to add an edit to multiple tracks, the command is Add Edit to All Tracks, and I've set my shortcut to Option E. Again, you can do whatever you want, but this is really fit into my workflow. Now, if you've ever wanted to adjust the duration of a clip, instead of right-clicking and coming up to Speed and Duration, figure out how long you want the clip and how much you want it to speed it up, you can just press the R key, and that will enable your stretch tool, and then you just stretch your clip to the desired length. If you ever wanted to reverse a clip and make some kind of boomerang effect you can post on social media, I'll duplicate this clip by selecting clip and then option drag. And say I wanted to reverse this second clip. Instead of right clicking, going up to speed duration, and then reverse speed, and then okay. Let me save you some clicks. All you have to do is select the clip, command R or control R, and there you get the clip speed duration menu. Press on that and you're done. For the last one, let me show you some quick ways of adding a new track. The normal way would be right clicking on the track and then add a new track and you can keep doing that. Or you can just select the clip and then press option and the up arrow and that will just move your clip up, creating new tracks. So that's it. I hope you found those tips helpful. If you got any tips or shortcuts that you guys use that I didn't include in this video, add them in the comments below. Check out the links in the description. We've got the Envato Elements link for $9 for your first month. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell. We drop videos all the time. If you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my ID handle. Till next time. Peace.